I would like to, in short, give a small presentation, a five-minute presentation on how you can build new businesses on existing setup, which is nothing else but business diversification. So, friends, uh, I'm Agnello Rajesh, like how, how I introduced, chairman for St. Angelo's VNC Ventures. We are villa developers across multiple cities of India. I'm also a serial entrepreneur and a passionate passion pruner on all the investments that I do in variety of businesses. Uh, so let us discuss what is business diversification. The is is missing, but us should not miss the opportunities of business diversification. Business diversification means adding or building a new business or an existing setup. It is a strategy used by companies to enter new lines of business that are distinct from the current line of products, services, and market. It can be backward integration. It can be forward integration, but you need to leverage what you have built as an entrepreneur. Friends, characteristics of effective business diversification strategy is critically to be understood. Point number one that I would like to make is we need to know proper and precise planning and evaluation of the, of the existing business as well as the new market or industry that we want to enter. Remember, you need to leverage your existing setup. So you need to be aware about your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. Point number two, proper and precise planning and evaluation of existing business as well as the new market or industry that we want to enter. I think that's a repetition of the top, uh, same point, but you need to be aware about it. Uh, point number three is proper and press. Okay, so I think uh, this is a copy paste that my team has done for the same point. Let me go to the next point. Uh, friends, away from its core product soaring with success, we need to give examples of how we can do what other successful companies have done. Like for example, ITC. ITC was into the tobacco business, but subsequently they ventured into luxury hotels. ITC hotels are one of the best uh, at par with Taj or Obroy across the country. And we have seen how they are booming. So they have also diversified. They're also into multiple other businesses related to paper and packaging with, with agribusiness and foods being added very recently. It is profitable in all diversified business ventures it has undertaken. So that is a lesson for us to learn. And another example is Hindustan Unilever. So the diversification story uh, is very interesting for Hindustan Unilever. Unilever owns over 400 brands with a turnover in 2017 of 53.7 billion euros. That's huge. 53.7 billion euros and 13 brands with sales of over 1 billion euros. For example, their products are like Axe, Dove, Nord, Lipton, Lux, Magnum, Rexona, Sunsilk and Surf and many more. So friends, uh, uh, Hindustan Lever was incorporated on 17th October 1933, and it is one of the big names in fast moving consumer goods that diversified very, very profitably, extremely profitably. Uh, so what are the key takeaways from this short notes that I've shared? One is most entrepreneurs set up new businesses on existing setup in order to reach to a wider number of customers and minimizes risk. Point number two is setting up new businesses on an existing business setup allows entrepreneurs to create an economic buffer in events of loss of major clients or to bear up the gestation period or to experiment what you're trying to achieve. Point number three, diversification increases sales and revenues. When we add a new line of products or services, it offers exponential growth and brand recognition, also brand encashment. Point number four, analyzing, analyzing and accessing the cost that a business can bear is important to before diversification takes place. So you need to identify your target audience much before you get started into the business model. You need to understand the gestation period. You need to understand the pros and cons of the new actions and activities that you have done because you're going to leverage your existing office setup, your factory setup, or your distribution network, or your manpower and team power. So before you do that, you need to do your logical calculations and arrive to right conclusions. So